My name is Todd Hirsch, and I like to think about the economy in a different way. Well, the global economy in the 21st century is very different than what it looked like in the 20th century. Geopolitics has re-emerged as a real disruptor to the economy. Well, as an economist, I think about climate change kind of in two different ways. We no longer think about work as only a paycheck, but we also want belonging. We also want inclusion. You know, a few years ago, economists thought that inflation was a problem from the 80s and 90s. There are a lot of things going on in the economy, and a lot of times audiences can feel quite anxious about all of these things swirling around them. My name is Todd Hirsch, and when I talk to audiences, they're going to come away with less fear and anxiety. They're going to come away with optimism and hope and even a sense of humor about the global economy. Storytelling is so powerful, and when we talk about the economy, it's about relationships. So if I can use story to talk about those relationships in the economy, that is where the magic in the presentation happens. Around the year 1500 AD, a Japanese shogun warrior by the name of Ashikaga Yoshimasa, he did something that he deeply regretted. People will remember story. It'll have an emotional connection with them. They won't forget the story. I use story to talk about what's happening in the global economy, to use metaphor to describe situations. Now what happened on that day? Well, often this story is interpreted as a miracle. If I can use story, people will remember that, they'll connect with it, and they'll have an emotional reaction to those stories. Welcome to the stage, one of Canada's leading economists, Todd Hirsch. Many years ago, in a very ordinary looking gymnasium, in an ordinary suburb, a bunch of ordinary grade eight boys were lining up in phys ed. They were learning that day how to play basketball. And as was the technique at the time, the teacher, the coach, he assigned two kids to be captains of the basketball teams. Now, it was the captain's job to pick teams, and you all know how this goes. The first captain picks a player, second captain picks a player. You probably know where this story is going. Two boys remain, and one of those boys was named Todd Hirsch. <laughs> now, you might be wondering, why am I telling this story? Well, in fact, I want to convince you that picking teams in phys ed is a lot like the economy. In fact, you might subtitle my presentation, Everything I Need to Know About the Economy I Learned in Grade 8 Phys Ed. Anytime I work with an organizing event, customizing my presentation is really important. Todd has been with us four or five times even. Um, we get him to do our economic update every single year. And the more I can understand the audience before I'm on stage, the better I'm going to be able to tailor the presentation. His amazing presentation is catered to the people that are in the room. Well, you know, I think he uplifts the audience and people that he's speaking to with tactics and opportunities, even in time when there's a lot of challenge. Made it really approachable, it was fun. It grounds you in something that's experiential and something that you can relate to. I love how he always brings um, personal, personal examples into the conversation and he just makes the conversation a little bit more human. I used to tease my mother because she would buy five blocks of butter and put four of them in the deep freeze and I'd say, Mom, why are you hoarding butter like this? Economics can be a pretty technical subject, right? So I think what Todd does is tends to bring it to like more relatable terms. And really talking about the climate, um, as a young person, I think that's one of the most important things to me is that we are talking about this. The Q&A is always the favorite part of the presentation for me because I know what I'm going to say, but I don't always know the questions I'm going to get asked. So the idea of taking fear out of the conversation, uh, he was masterful at that and he had to be because somebody asked him about total global nuclear war. I know that when it comes to investments and money, people get very emotional. When we talk about the economy, this is about our fundamental human connections. It's about relationships. It impacts everything that we do, impacts our, our house payments, impacts our job 
prospects, that sort of thing, the industries we work with and work in. So he brings it down to like a, I guess a relatable level. I think honestly Todd is, is great for, for any audience because he can tailor his presentation for them. Audiences, when they think about the economy, especially all of these things swirling around the global economy, there is a lot of anxiety because all of these things are so uncertain. We live in a world that is very volatile, situations are changing, and people are feeling, what does this mean for me? What does it mean for my industry? What does it mean for my business? I help audiences understand these dynamics in the global economy, and that brings the fear level down. We actually can't change what's happening out there, but we can respond to all of these situations coming at us. And that's what I hope to leave audiences with. Some tools that help them deal with all of these things in the global economy that are hitting them from every direction. That brings the fear level down and that leaves them with some optimism. When we think about the problems that we're trying to solve today, it takes new ways of thinking about the economy in order to solve those problems. I want my audiences to have fun in an economics presentation. I want them to feel some optimism and some hope. I want them to learn something, but I especially want them to feel something. My name is Todd Hirsch, and I like to think about the economy in a different way.